Every time I walk my dogs, it's pretty much a hassle. They're all over the place, and I'm trying to rope them in and wrangle them in, and it's bad enough with one dog, but when you have two, it's pretty crazy. Hey. The dogs walk pretty well on the leash, but the problem comes when they meet other dogs. They'll go for it, and then they get so frustrated that they go for each other. Um. Hey. Uh -uh. These are not small dogs. She's holding two of them. Hey. That's hard for her to control. Hey. 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 Dawn's goal this summer is to get out and hike with friends as much as she can. But Harper and Marlo have made that impossible. I wanted to see how the dogs behaved on a hike. Dawn takes them every day, but there are problems, especially when she lets them off leash. Harper, let's go. Uh-uh, that's enough. Harper, that's enough. Let's go. When we're on hikes and they encounter other dogs, my dogs are highly reactive. The barking is seemingly aggressive, and other dog owners have issues with it. They think I'm being a bad dog owner, but it just escalates even more if I'm around, and then it's, you know, just I can't ever grab them. People are yelling at me because I can't grab my dog, and people just wind up hating me. Hey, uh-uh. Hey. That's enough. Dawn needs to get more control of her dogs. She loves hiking, but on a hike, the dogs are crazy. She needs to be able to go and enjoy her summer. At this rate, you are gonna end up sitting at home with your dogs forever. I also think that you are not of great value to them. They are so dependent upon each other that they are less dependent upon you. And so, you know, part of a lot of the training we're gonna do is about increasing your value in their eyes mm -hmm. so that their focus will be more on you. We have a lot of work ahead of us. And, you know, beautiful weather, let's make use of it. We have to start working and the work starts now. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Straight away. Victoria wants to get Dawn back out on the trail. All right, let's just stop here. I brought Dawn to the canyon because this is where she loves to hike. And I wanted to start working with the dogs on focus and the beginning of a recall. I know you love to hike. So what I want to do, we've got to make the recall better, but we've also got to make their attention on you much better as well. First of all, I started with each dog individually, putting them on a long leash. And then I just waited. I waited for the dog to look at me. Focus. When the dog looked at me, I said the word focus and rewarded. Focus. And what this is doing, I'm not imposing my will at all upon the dog. I'm simply waiting for him to make his own decision about looking at me. I want you to take over the leash and do exactly what I'm doing. And I'll take Harper. Focus. Good boy. Focus. Good boy. Now what I want you to do, when he goes off on his own, looking around, I want you to say, focus. And see if he turns around to look at you. Focus. Good boy. Focus. <gasps> yes. That's good boy. Like. That's a good boy. Good. Now that Marlo has the hang of it, it's now time for Dawn to work with Harper. Harper is the one that is the most difficult to get back when you call. Yep. So this exercise is really important for him. Okay? Focus. Focus. This environment is very distracting, but it's kind of the perfect place because it's kind of hard for the dog to focus on you when there is so much around, but we're building it up. Focus. Good. Focus. Good boy. That's it. That's a good boy. That's it. That's what you want. Focus. That's it. Good. Good. Now that I started working on the focus command, I see that if I do it a little bit more and I work on it with both Harper and Marlo, it's gonna allow me to get out and uh, hike at a better success ratio, I believe, than I have been.
Now, she wants to build on the previous recall training, this time working with the dogs off-leash and in a closed area. Harper is very, very difficult to get back, especially when they're on a hike. Harper! So I want to give a really good, effective method for recall, and it's the whistle, because I want to have something that cuts above Harper's intense reaction. I want to, to train these dogs that whistle means good things. The whistle is the signal. Come now, all right? You're going to have to wear it around your neck at all times. Harper and Marlo don't really listen to me on hikes, especially if something else catches their attention, so I don't really know how this is going to work. I'm going to start this. I'm going to blow the whistle, walk back a little bit. They're going to come to me, get a treat. Good. I first used the whistle at very close range, and then I started backing off the dogs a little bit more, doing it at more of a distance. Now Victoria has Dawn take over. Take it away. Good. Dawn's doing well, but the dogs have other plans. Okay, now they've seen a squirrel. You haven't built it up enough now to be able to get them back from this. So you wait for a lull. Once Harper and Marlo fixated on that squirrel, I thought, here we go again, and they're never going to listen to me. And blow it a big whistle because he's ignoring you. Dawn really has to work hard, and in that instance, she's got to get right in front of his face. Harper! That's it. Good. It was amazing. Vic told me to actually get in their faces and get their attention, and it actually worked. Now that Dawn can get the dogs back to her, Victoria introduces a way for her to keep them by her side. Close. Good. Very good. Close. Good. I thought the close technique is brilliant, especially when it's uh, necessary for a distraction if another dog or child or something is passing. Close. Until it develops a better response, Victoria wants Dawn to continue to use the long leash with Harper. Harper's recall has to be much stronger before he's allowed freedom. If he didn't listen to her voice, he would feel the tug of the long line and he would have to respond to her. Close. Close. Good, lovely. Good, good. I feel like slowly I'm gaining the tools to get my boys under control. It's a lot to remember, but I'm feeling hopeful that I might actually get my life back. Beautiful. It's really important Dawn gets her dogs to focus because she wants to go hiking, but in order for them to do that, she's got to work very hard. Now she wants to revamp Dawn's daily walking routine. One of the things that I notice when you're walking along, not just on a hike, but especially when you're walking around the roads, is that when the dogs are on leash, they do get, again, a little bit reactive towards other dogs as they're coming past. I would like you to be able to use the close command in this situation, too. Victoria has enlisted Dawn's friend, Valerie, along with her dog, to help out with the training. I'm pretty skeptical. I've known these dogs for a long time, and uh, I think they've probably got another couple years before they really get there. Marlo, close. Work hard and doing it, because you close. There you go. Close. Close. Uh-uh. Close. OK, pretty good, pretty good. Lovely. Now, this time, what I want you to do is I want you to do a three-second greeting, literally. It's going up. Dogs say hello, goodbye. Before I came, Dawn was allowing the dogs to greet for too long, which meant they got really riled up, and then that would cause the fight between them. If Dawn uses this three-second greeting so she builds up a habit of greeting behavior, then she'll be able to have her dogs greet other dogs for a longer period but have no reaction. Say hello. hello. Now move. Go. Come. Good, good boy. Good and boy. Good, good. good boy. Lovely. Good boy. Let's try that one more time. Close. Good. Very good. Harper. Love it. Close. I think the three-second greeting is something I can put into practice. Victoria said even if it was just one second, just monitor the situation and then be along my way. Say hello. Good. Good boy. Beautiful timing. I am surprised that Dawn can exhibit this level of control over Harper and Marlowe already. I mean, it's, it's, it's exciting. 
I'm arming you with a whole load of things and techniques and methods that you can use that's going to help you hiking and that's going to help you walking. All right? OK. More stuff. Let's do it. After her visit, Dawn gets back to work bringing Harper and Marlo back to the tennis court to practice the recall training. I feel like Harper's starting to get the whistle recall training. I definitely see an improvement, which is nice. Marlo! Good boy. Encouraged, Dawn takes both dogs for a walk to practice the close command along with the three-second greeting. Good boy. I've been walking with the dogs, um, working on the three-second greet, and they've been doing really well. Say hello. Hey. I'm working really hard to get their focus on me. Let's go. And it's going pretty good. The next day, Dawn attempts taking both dogs on a hike. Marlo, over here. But the dogs still aren't listening. Come on, come on, there you go. Hey, hey. Hey, come on, come on, come on, go, there we go. Where's Harper's leash? I told you that you have to keep Harper leashed until he's got a reliable recall. And things go from bad to worse when they encounter another dog. Hello. Now Marlo and Harper are ganging up on another dog. You have to apply the three-second greeting on hikes as well. Uh, 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 uh. Marlo! Uh, uh, uh. Harper! Uh, uh, uh. I need to get back to Dawn's to help her deal with all of this. But I also noticed on the walk, why did you not put the dogs on when you passed other dogs too? Marlo! Marlo! Ah! Ah! I had seen the other dog too late. Unless it is a place where you know that there aren't going to be other dogs there, until you get a good recall, your dog is not off the leash. Yeah. So Marlo can be off the leash, but Harper stays on. So I want to come with you, and we're going to do this hike. Because I want to leave you in a place where you think, gosh, I can go hiking, and it's good. Mm -hmm. To solidify the training, Victoria wants Dawn to take both dogs out on a hike with her friends. We started a hike. We had Marlo off the leash, and we had Harper on the leash. Hi, guys. Come on, let's go. After the initial greeting's over, when there's all that excitement, we let Harper off, and it was wonderful. It was absolutely perfect. Okay, now you think they're gonna come? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. Good, lovely. Good, now let him off again. Yay! Like that. You can come round to the house, too. <laughs> I'll have treats for you as well as my dogs. Yeah. How about that? There's no need for Dawn to isolate herself anymore. No excuses. She's got to keep up with the training. And she's, you know, she can have a really great social life with her dogs.